Welcome to Mrs E English Skills. I'm Mrs E and today we're looking at Harvard Referencing. What is referencing? Whenever you use someone else's research, idea or quote someone else in your own written work, you need to reference, which just means state whose idea it is and where you got the information. It is a vitally important part of any academic work and it shows you're assessing your depth of knowledge and research into your topic. It supports and puts your work into context and it ensures you acknowledge the original thinker in your work. So how do you reference? Well, you need to do two things. Number one, in-text citations and number two, full reference list. So let's look at in-text citations. These are written in the body of your text and it gives the authors or author and publication date of the source you're citing. If the publication date is not available then you can put no date instead. If you are using direct quotations or you mention a specific section in the source, you also need the page number or numbers, if available, or paragraph number for web pages. Let's look at some examples of in-text citations. So an in-text citation consists of the last name of the author or authors, the year of publication, and a page number if relevant. So, if you have one author, it will go something along the lines of, it has been highlighted that a good knowledge of basic English skills is important in all levels of academia, in brackets, miles, comma, 2023. Or, it has been highlighted by miles, in brackets, 2023, that a good knowledge of basic English skills is important in all levels of academia. If we were to have two authors, we would change it to Miles and Norris, comma, 2023, and all in brackets, or Miles and Norris, in brackets, 2023, highlighted that. For three authors, we would change it to Miles, comma, Norris and King, comma, 2013 and all in brackets or Miles, comma, Norris and King 2013 in brackets emphasize that. If we have more than three authors then it changes. Instead of writing all the authors down we would just use the main author, the first author and then we would add et al. So we have Miles et al full stop, comma, 2023, and this is all in brackets, or Miles et al, full stop, and in brackets, 2023, emphasise that. Now let's look at the full reference list. The full reference list is written at the end of your work in alphabetical order. It gives full bibliographical information for all sources you have mentioned in the body of your text. Be sure to check whether your assessor has requested a reference list or a bibliography, or both. A reference list only includes sources you have referred to in the body of your text, whereas a bibliography includes sources you have referred to in the body of your text and sources that were part of your background reading that you did not use in your assignment. So now we're going to look at how to write a full reference list and bibliography. Remember these have to be in alphabetical order. I've put timestamps in the description for this video so if you have a specific type of reference, a journal article, book, newspaper, you'll be able to look to see where I talk about these to save watching the whole of the rest of this video. To start with, I'm going to look at a book, so how to reference a book. So you need the surname, comma, initial, full stop, 
and then open brackets, year of publication, close brackets, then the title of the book in italics, full stop, the edition, only if later than the first, full stop, the place of publication, colon, the publisher, full stop, series and volume number if relevant, full stop. Make sure you get the punctuation marks correct, as these are vital, in order to ensure that the reference is written correctly. So these will always be in white in the descriptions that I'm given now. And it sounds like a bit of a mouthful and a lot to remember, but trust me, the more you do this, the more practice, the easier it becomes, and soon it'll become second nature. So let's look at an example. So for one author, it'll look a little something like this. For two or three authors, it'll look like this. And for four or more authors, we bring back the et al. So it will look like this. Just a note for ebooks, online books that look like printed books, so they've got the same page numbers, the same publication information, it's just a book scanned into um, an online web page, then you will just reference it the same as this. To reference a chapter in an edited book, which is just a book that has an editor or editors where each chapter is written by a different author or authors, you will need the surname of the chapter author, comma, and the initial, full stop, open brackets, year of publication, close brackets, open quotations, title of chapter or section, close quotations, comma, in, and then the initial, full stop, then the surname of the book editor, comma, open brackets, ed, full stop, close brackets, then the title of the book, full stop, the place of publication, colon, the publisher, comma, and the page reference, full stop. Again, a lot to remember. But using this easy guide, you should be able to get all this information down. And this is an example of what that would look like. To reference a journal article, you will need the surname, comma, initial, full stop, Open brackets, year of publication, close brackets. Open quotations, title of the article, close quotations, comma. Then title of the journal, comma. Volume number, and in brackets, issue number, comma. Page reference, full stop. And if accessed online, you also need the words available at, then colon. Then the URL, open brackets and then accessed and colon, and then you'd write the date you accessed it. Close your brackets and a full stop. And this is an example of what this will look like. So the first one is just a journal, a paper-based journal. And the second one is a journal that you've found online. To reference a newspaper article, you will need the surname of the author, comma, initial, full stop, open brackets, year of publication, close brackets, open quotations, title of article, close quotations, comma, title of the newspaper, comma, day and month of publication, comma, page reference, full stop. And if accessed online, you'll also need the words available at, colon, the URL, and then in brackets, accessed, colon, and the date that you accessed it. And at the end, a full stop. So here's an example 
of what they would look like, both paper-based newspaper article and an online newspaper article. To reference a web page, you will need the surname of the author, comma, and their initial, full stop, open brackets, the year that the site was either published or last updated, close brackets, the title of the web page, full stop, the words available at, colon, and the URL, and in brackets, access, colon, and the date that you accessed it, full stop. If it's not a, an actual person, it's an organisation that's published the, the web page, then you just put the organisation at the front rather than the surname and the initial. So here's examples of both. Finally, to reference a forum message, you will need the surname of the forum member, comma, and their initial, full stop, open brackets, the year of publication, close brackets, then open quotations and put in the title of the message, close quotations, comma, then the title of the discussion board, comma, in, and then the module code, colon, then the module title, full stop, and then the words available at, colon, and the URL of the VLE, um, the virtual learning environment, and then you open brackets and put accessed, colon, and the date you accessed it, with close brackets and full stop on the end. And here's an example of what that might look like. Thank you for watching. I hope that's helped you write your bibliographies and reference lists, as well as your in-text citations. If I've missed anything, just pop it in the comments and I'll write uh, how to reference that particular type of reference. Also, if you've got any ideas on videos you'd like me to create to help you with certain aspects of English, please just put them in the comments below and I'll add them to my list to upload at a later date. As ever, if you've liked this video, please subscribe as it really helps out the channel. It lets me record more videos and help lots of people out with their English skills. And if you've liked it as well, give it a like and share with people that might find it useful. I've also got a lot of other videos that you can check out in my channel, as well as playlists for specific qualifications. So have a little look if you've not been there yet. I'm Mrs E and I'll see you soon.